Hello and welcome to Logic Apps Talk. I'm Derek Lee. In this show, I take you behind the scene to talk to engineers, program managers, designers, and researchers who made Logic Apps possible. Today, joining me, I have Rohita, the engineering manager for Azure Logic Apps. Welcome to the show, Rohita. Thank you for having me, Derek. Now, I want to start with the re-architected Logic Apps runtime. As a customer, what benefit do I get with this new redesign? The new design lets you build and run Logic Apps locally in Visual Studio Code and then deploy to various hosting environments like Azure, Docker containers, Kubernetes, and then many more. And this is made possible by using the Azure Function Runtime. Tell us a little bit more about that. The redesigned Logic Apps Runtime uses Azure Functions extensibility model and is hosted as an extension on Azure Functions Runtime which means you can now run Logic Apps anywhere Azure Functions run. This not only enables us to take Logic Apps to many hosting environments, but also help you leverage many of the platform capabilities that App Service infrastructure provide. So that means I also get things like custom domains and private endpoints if I were to deploy my project to Azure. Yes. The new runtime also utilizes Azure Functions request processing pipeline for requests and webhook triggers, as well as management APIs, enabling you to leverage many of App Services HTTP capabilities, such as custom domains and private, dom private endpoints. That's really cool. Now, the other benefit I see as a customer is now I have one way of doing DevOps. If I'm building a project that's involving Logic Apps as well as functions, my CACD process will look very much the same. Exactly. Now, there is also a new concept that we introduced, stateless versus stateful workflow. Tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, yeah, so stateful workflows, which people are familiar with, the runtime checkpoints the state of the workflow run after every action execution into storage. And then this is very fundamental to some of the scenarios that Logic App enables. For example, if you have a long running workflow where you have to wait for, for, for some time for some manual action to happen, like approval, the workflow engine, the Logic App runtime can unload the waiting workflow instance from memory and hydrate it back from storage when it's ready to resume. And, and this is also what enables the resiliency of, a, of stateful workflows where every action is guaranteed to run at least once. We can do that because if something were to happen in the middle of a run, like a power outage, we can resume from where, from the last checkpoint state. While stateful workflows are critical for such scenarios, when it comes to cost of performance as well as cost of storage, makes it not the, the ideal solution for certain other scenarios, for such as like request response workflows where the clients are able to handle and retry errors and then they don't run for a long time. For such scenarios, we can actually keep the state of workflow in memory for the entire duration of a run and avoid all these storage interactions. And this is exactly what we did with uh, stateless workflows. And this enables much better performance in return when your workflow is in drone running or doesn't require the same level of uh, resiliency that stateful workflows give. Makes sense. And you can have a mixture of stateless and stateful workflow in the same project. Exactly. Cool. Now, the other thing I noticed is the new runtime design require me as a user to have a storage account. Why is that? Yeah, so like for stateful workflows, the storage account is, is where Logic Apps Runtime keeps the state. And now with the new design, like the, as a user, you can bring in your own storage accounts to keep this data. And what that means is you have much more control over how you want to manage this data now, now that Logic App processes and uses. For example, you can use uh, storage service replication capabilities to build failover solution on top of your Logic Apps or, or, or use your own like custom managed keys to encrypt your data at rest. And then we have started a series of blog posts 
to go into various aspects of the new runtime, and, and we will link it to in the, in the description below. Now, that's some great information you have shared with us today. Thank you very much, Rohida, for your time. Thank you for having me. The new Logic App Runtime, VS Code extension, and Azure Portal experience is now available for public preview. So give it a try, and we would love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.